Hi, Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. It's Irish Week and we're playing Danny Boy on a C diatonic harmonica. If you enjoy this lesson today, click like, share with your friends and also subscribe for free harmonica lessons every single week. So we're looking at Danny Boy, the traditional Irish tune on a C harmonica. Now most of these notes won't be a problem, but there is one little bend on there, which is actually really good practice if you can't bend and you want to get into bending. It's great to have a tune like this where you have one bend that you just have to put in so it isn't too overwhelming, but something that is going to push you a little bit. So you can follow the tab on the screen and we're going to go through it nice and slow line by line. So the first line goes something like this. Now that's the bend at the end there which you can hear. So let's talk through the tab for this first line and then we'll discuss that tricky bend and an option for that bend which you may not even be aware of. So the tab is a three draw and then four blow, four draw, five blow, four draw, five blow, and then six draw, six blow, five blow, four draw, four blow, and then that three draw bend. Now it's a full step bend, so that's what those two forward slashes are. You can look at my tab system on the uh, website at learntheharmonica.com to, to learn about that, but that's a full step bend, so it's an A note on the three draw. So that gives us, oh Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling. Okay, now that three draw is really difficult to make sound clean. That, that was a bit rough from me, and it is a, a difficult thing to make a bend clean and full, and, and especially for a ballad like this, where you want it to be really smooth. Now, you could say, well, why bother trying it? Why not move it to a different area of the harmonica, um, which is possible, or use a chromatic harmonica or something. Um, I personally think that doing songs like this where you have a bend, but it's supposed to be a nice clean tune, is actually really good practice for your bends. It doesn't mean that you would necessarily even perform it um, with that bend. I probably wouldn't perform this song in this uh, layout with that bend. But I think it's really useful to learn it so that you try and get your bends as clean as possible. So when you do play songs with bends, they will be better and better than just sort of being lazy and not practicing them. Sorry that I'm waffling on about the bend, but it's really important. Okay, so that's our first line, and, and the tricky bit is only that bend there. Now, if you really don't want to have to play a bend, one way that you might not be aware of getting around this is to get yourself a Paddy Richter harmonica. Okay, so what I mean by that is this is a Richter tuned harmonica, the standard harmonica tuning, the most commonly available diatonic style tuning is called Richter tuning. Now, there's been invented a version of that tuning called Paddy Richter, which just has one note changed. So you might be aware that the three blow and the two draw are the same note. Now on a Paddy Richter harmonica, the three blow, instead of being that same note, is moved up a tone, and that would actually give you that missing note. So you'd be able to play that whole line without bending, just because one note is added to the harmonica. So check out Paddy Richter harmonicas. I think Brendan Power does a lot of them, so check out pa Brendan Power. I think they're available from, from other uh, people now and other companies now, but um, check those out if you're thinking that that might help you. Anyway, let's get on to the next line. So we've got that first line and then we're going from Glen to Glen and down the mountainside. I don't know if I'm in a right key, probably not. I definitely wasn't in the right key. Um, so we've got four blow, five blow, five draw, six blow, six draw, and then six blow, five blow, four blow, five blow, four draw. Okay, 
So if we put those two lines together, Now you notice I kind of cupped for the bend there. It's just a way of muting that note so it doesn't come out as harsh. Bends tend to come out a bit <clears throat> honky. So to try and mute that, it can help. Now I'm aware you might have been listening to that and thinking, it still sounds horrible. As I say, I think it's really good practice. The fact that it sounds horrible forces you to try really, really hard to make them as smooth as possible. And it's really, really useful for you in your practice. So that's our first two lines there. The next line is basically the first line again. The words would be different. We'd have the summer's gone and all the roses falling, but it's the same notes as the, that first line. And then we've got a slightly different uh, line for line four. So it goes... So that's, it's you, it's you, must go and I must bide. So we've got four blow twice and then four draw, five blow, five draw, five blow, four draw, four blow, three draw, four blow. And that's the end of the verse. Now, or the first verse, sorry, and then it... it it would go into a next verse, but it kind of rises up and changes. So we'll look at that in a second. Just want to say with the practice for this, I always say you should practice things nice and slow. But for a ballad like this, luckily the tune is nice and slow. So you can play it nice and slow as a, as a performance. That means you don't have to learn how to speed it up. But it does mean your single notes are very exposed. So what I mean by that is if you're not getting clean notes... That's going to be really obvious with a slow tune, whereas a bit stuff that's faster, although I still think you really should learn to get good clean single notes, if stuff is faster, you'll get away with it maybe a bit more. With this, it's going to be really obvious. So that's our first half. The second half of the tune goes up a lot higher. So let me play this uh, second half for you, and then we'll go through each line. So you hear that same bend near the end there. It is the same bend. Uh, so it, it appears tw uh, three times in the tune, but it's the same bend. So if you did have a Paddy Richter, you just wouldn't have to bend at all. Um, so let's look at the first line of this section. So we've got, but come ye back when summer's in the meadow. So we've got six blow. Six draw, seven draw, seven blow, and then seven draw twice, six draw, six blow, six draw, six blow, five blow, four draw. Huh. Da 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 Notice meadow at the end of that line is three syllables or three notes, even though med o you think two syllables, but it goes meadow. It's actually the same, the first line of the first verse, calling. So that's just the kind of thing you have to be aware of. I've tried to line it up in the tab so you can tell what's going on there. The next line. We've got six blow, six draw, and then seven draw, seven blow, seven draw, seven draw, six draw. Six blow, five blow, four blow, a uh, four draw, sorry. Really. 
Good. And then, final two lines, we've got It'll be here in sunshine and in shadow. Again, shadow. Uh, shadow, but we've got shadow. So we have six blow three times, and then we have eight blow, eight draw, eight draw, seven blow, six draw, seven blow, six blow, five blow, four blow. And then finally, our last line. Oh, Danny boy, oh, Danny boy, I love you so. So we've got three draw, four blow, four draw, five blow, six draw, six blow, five blow, four draw, four blow, and then three draw semi, uh, sorry, full step bend, that same bend we've done before, and then three draw, four blow. So that is the last line of the song. We are going to have a go now at playing the second half in full. So we're going to go from But Come Ye Back. Fantastic. Now, there are more verses to it. I've got a couple more verses uh, in my tab um, document, which you can download from my website. I've just written the lyrics to the verses because you can follow the same tab, although you could do slight variations for those later verses. I hope you've enjoyed looking at this with me today. If you have, remember to click like before you go. Also, share with your friends and subscribe for free harmonica lessons every single week. I will be back with another lesson and I take requests, so please leave your comments beneath the video. You can email contact at learntheharmonica.com and you can also find me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Just search for learntheharmonica.com to connect with me there. I'll be back with another lesson soon. Until then, enjoy your practice and I'll see you soon. Cheers. <laughs>